What's up guys, this is Steve. How's everybody doing? I'm about to show you guys how to play Stadia on your NVIDIA Shield TV. If you didn't know, Stadia is doing a free two-month trial. After the two months, you have to pay the $9.99 uh, fee a month for it. But uh, it gives you guys a chance to test it out on your NVIDIA Shield TV to see how you like it. Before we get started, the best way to support me and this channel is simply by liking the video, giving it a thumbs up, sharing the video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and join that notification squad. All right, let's get it popping, y'all. So, um, we have to go through all these hoops, and I don't understand why, but we have to for now because the Stadia app does not work for the NVIDIA Shield TV. Hopefully, they fix that soon so we don't have to do all this stuff. But I'm going to show you how until then. Um, what you'll need is definitely a controller. Uh, you'll have to have that controller plugged in to your NVIDIA Shield TV because the Bluetooth does not work right with Stadia. The input put lag is terrible. Um, so definitely plug your controller up, your uh, NVIDIA Shield TV controller. I'm using a PS4 controller for this demonstration. And the second thing you'll need is you'll need some type of keyboard. I'm using the Logitech K400 Plus. Um, if you don't have that keyboard, you can use whatever keyboard you have that you use for your NVIDIA Shield TV. If you have none, I believe that NVIDIA Shield app has a mobile keyboard board you can use on your mobile uh, device. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to Aptoid. If you don't have Aptoid installed on your device, which you should if you've been following me, um, I'm going to leave the uh, link to download it on the description where you can download it and just use the USB to transfer it to your NVIDIA Shield TV. Or you guys can head over to my file link and download it. I didn't want to go through the whole process making the video longer. Also, make sure you guys install the Stadia app on your phone. All right. Once we're in Aptoid, you want to download this version of Chrome, Chrome Beta. Every other version of Chrome would not work for me. So you need this version of Chrome to play Stadia games. All right. Install it. Also, while we while that's installing, let me go show you guys something. This is Stadia page where you guys gotta sign up. Definitely sign up first, guys. Make sure you guys head over to Stadia uh, Google.com and sign up. I'm put gonna put the link for this in the description as well. And you have to sign up if you want to test it. And it does have a few free games for you guys to, you know play around with I don't recommend buying any games unless you are sure that you want to continue on with the subscription because if you buy games and you don't keep this the, the, uh, the sub then that's just like lost money so just t test out the free games and if you keep it then buy the games all right let's go back I'm gonna install this Open it up. I always unclick this. Make sure you keep your your uh, information. Say yes, I I'm in. Okay. The next thing you want to do once you're in the web browser is go over here to the top right. You'll see them three dots. Click on that. Then go to desktop site and turn this on. Now. Go to uh, the web browser, uh, go to Stadia. I forgot the actual address, so I'll just search it. So here we go right here, StadiaGoogle.com. That's the website. And it's just that easy, guys. Uh, the problem is, though, you can't get to know. Let me show you guys. Once you go to the store to see the games, you can't see the games. So you'll have to do all that work on your phone. But you can play the games from here. 
And the only way to switch games that you want to play is on your mobile device. You'll have to click that game that you want to play and that different game will pop up. But it works. So, show you guys that it works. And the gameplay is smooth. Um, I just don't like that you have to hardwire your controller to the device. Some people like that better, though. Um, people ask me why I like better this or GeForce Now. For the moment, I do like GeForce Now better. They could change in the future, you know, once they fix up some things for Stadia. Okay. And if you don't hardwire your controller, it'll be unplayable. It just will have so much input lag. And I'm just trying to sim through. I don't even play racing games. I just downloaded it because it was free. I downloaded another game. It was pretty cool. Some first person game. Wow, this load screen is forever. Am I actually playing the game? I have no idea. Okay, so that was just the load screen. Took forever. Okay, now I'm playing. Graphics are good. Uh, input is good once it's hardwired. I don't play racing games, so gonna suck. Here's the issue that I'm finding with the Nvidia Shield TV. Let's see. Skip that survey. You can't switch the games. So if you want to switch the games, you have to go over to your mobile device and go to that app. The Stadia app. And then you'll have to switch your games from there. So let me see if I can put on another game. Right, so once I put on that game, then it lets me switch over and I can play it now on my video shield TV once I do it in mobile. So, show you guys well, I can't show you guys because I don't got the, anything up, but I went and switched with my mobile device. And loading spin usually fast. This is the game I played when I had the uh, Bluetooth controller first. And it was terrible.
But it's something to try out. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you got any trouble doing this. If if you do, um, just comment. You know, that's the best thing to do. Comment and let me know um, what you need help with. And uh, definitely comment more video ideas for me. Or what you guys need help with on NVIDIA Shield TV. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Tune in next time. Well, talk to you guys later. Remember to like the video for me, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours. Thanks for watching, guys.